Hi everyone, I'm Giovanni and today with us, Matti Greenspan, Senior Market Analyst at eToro, with the latest market updates. Hi Matti, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you today? So, the market this week closed with a very much bullish movement and many analysts are predicting an upcoming surge to the mid 9000s. Do you agree with that? Um, well, yeah, I mean, as you know, past performance is not an indication of future results. Uh, however, everything that we've said lately has been playing out to a T. I mean, we spoke about this pullback already, um, consolidation, and just last night we saw a breakout above that consolidation zone, uh, almost just stopping shy of $9,000 per coin. Um, what's really incredible here is that the pullback, when it came, we saw that it was not very deep. It didn't take us all the way back to 6,000 like some people were thinking. And it broke very quickly. I mean, that consolidation range, that could have lasted for months, but as we see, it didn't. Uh, and we already saw an upward breakout, which is an incredible sign. Okay. Um, so what do you think is the main resistance level that we should uh, keep an eye on now? The main resistance level, the only major resistance level that I see is 20,000. That's the all time high. Um, there's a minor resistance level at around 10,000. But who knows? I mean, it's always possible it could turn around now. This is a high risk asset. Um, but as we've stated before, there's a very real chance that this could go parabolic. We could surpass the all time high uh, as Bitcoin has done many times in the past. All right. So some other analysts uh, have been defining this uh, latest surge as a FOMO phase and they are <laughs> and they are expecting like some kind of corrections coming soon. Do you agree with that? And uh, if so, how low do you expect Bitcoin to go? So in my professional opinion, we have not yet reached peak FOMO. Uh, this is actually Google Trends. We can see for the search term Bitcoin. Uh, here's the 2017 uh, peak. And you can see that over the last few weeks, uh, people have been looking for Bitcoin a bit more. Um, but basically, we're not quite yet at the levels that we were of excitement. Uh, in 2017. Now, if we do reach um, something similar, so this 2017 level, um, this chart actually looked like that before 2017, where 2016, 2013 actually uh, saw this type of, this type of uh, range, and then this was actually flattened out later on. So this one, for example, looked like this, and now it looks like this. When we get to peak FOMO, this one's going to flatten out as well. Uh, very likely, obviously, we don't know the future, but this one could very likely flatten out as we reach even more uh, greater heights of awareness of Bitcoin. Um, so, no, I don't think that we're in peak FOMO. If this is the start of another parabolic cycle, we are just getting started at the moment. All right. And what about like possible corrections? Do you see any possible correction coming and how significant? There is always a possibility of a correction. Um, I mean, we could, we could come back and test that 6,400 level. Uh, that main stabilization period has not yet been tested as a support. Um, I feel that if we don't get another test, because yesterday we broke above that 8,000, uh, basically turning 8,000 from a resistance into a support line. If we don't get a test of that 8,000, I'd be a bit surprised. Uh, that would just show you know, really how much this, uh, this market has momentum. Um, but I think that it's very possible we can come test down 7,500 or we could continue on from here. I mean, it's really the future is wide open at the moment. So any altcoins we should keep an eye on? Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, Bitcoin has been where most of the action is at. Um, I'm also holding a large amount of BNB in my portfolio. When I say a large amount, I'm talking about three or four percent, not uh, not anything crazy. Um, it's just been outperforming the markets on a very steady level uh, just because uh, of everything that Binance has been doing. They've basically turned into a powerhouse. They're one of the most uh, profitable financial institutions on the planet, and that's including the recent hack. Uh, Litecoin as well has been outperforming Bitcoin uh, on, on some time frames. Uh, I would say that that's another promising one that I'm holding in my portfolio. It has, it's the second most established crypto in the market, has a very large community base, very positive. Um, and we also have the having co happening coming up very soon. So um, also another one that I, that's, that's on my radar. 
Uh, did you see any fundamentals uh, in the news that can uh, explain the surge in uh, crypto prices? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of news items uh, that actually, so there aren't as many news items. And I've seen a, a graph recently that looked kind of like our Google Trends chart, uh, where the, there aren't, the volume of news articles at the moment are not as much as there was in 2017. However, the quality of the news is much brighter. And this is basically things that kind of point to uh, the fact that it, it's, it's very possible that mass adoption is right around the corner. So things like the AT&T, I think that's completely huge. It just allows people to spend money, um, you know, and uh, Fidelity, of course, uh, coming online very soon. Um, there's, just so, there's just so many uh, news articles, Microsoft uh, trying to increase online security using the Bitcoin blockchain itself. So this basically just shows us how much crypto is coming into the limelight at the moment. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is that the breakout that we had last night happened on very strong volumes. Um, it's not close to what we saw on May 16th where we saw record high volumes across exchanges and across different platforms. Um, but right now, uh, Masari Crypto is tracking for the real 10 crypto exchanges, one point seven billion dollars in volumes um, that's almost double what it was uh, you know just a few days ago so uh, this breakout is very significant at the moment we were here with Matty Greenspan from eToro thanks a lot Matty and see you next week thanks a lot for having me we'll see you next week this episode is sponsored by Trade Santa Trade Santa is a cloud-based trading bot. Set it up in less than two minutes, trade multiple pairs, choose between long and short strategies, use tech analysis indicators, and see your results in real time. Trade Santa works 24-7 to get you the profit you set. The platform is already integrated with Binance, Bittrex, Bitfinex, and HitBTC. The link is in the description below. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.